SRT, this is uh, relatively new. I actually have a client that's having some problems with SRT, um, and, can, and it's usually from server to server. So if you're, um, Teradex uh, got some SRT implementation in their encoders. Wowza supports SRT. Uh, I believe High Vision was the uh, originated that spec and has made it open source. Uh, but it was something to replace RTMP. Um, as I was joking with uh, Philip, and I've been joking about how some of these acronyms are poorly chosen, there was already something called SRT in video uh, related to <laughs> caption files. I don't know why they picked SRT so that when we try to do Google searches, we might come up with a whole different tech stack than what we're talking about here. But just know if you search, uh, I would just say search for secure, reliable transport if you want to find more information about it. Um, um, but the uh, uh, again, it's meant more for server to server. Uh, that's what like, as a push target. So, I've seen I have a client right now that's approached me that is uh, pushing from North America across the pond to Europe, and they're using SRT to connect. And I I was and they were having issues with it because it was a relatively uh, initial implementation by Wowza. And I'm like, why are you using SRT? Like, why don't you just go back to RTMP? He's like, well, we were having issues with RTMP too. I'm like, well, if you're having issues with both RTMP and SRT, I don't think you can blame the, the transport. It sounds like something else is going on here because if RTMP is, is timing out, then you probably have other network problems going on. But anyway, that's just a recent experience I've had with SRT that didn't seem to work out as well. But I do think that uh, what I like about SRT is um, I haven't really seen this talked about as an HEVC carrier, but uh, since it is a push out of a device, I would love to see a device, and maybe Teradex already there with Wowza, but I haven't tested it yet. But if I could do HEVC over SRT from a, a, a remote location for a, a webcast, that would be great. But that's not something that I've been, like, I certainly, when I open up my Asia Hilo encoder or I open up a Videon encoder, uh, I'm not seeing an SRT path there for HEVC. I did test a, a, a cube from um, Teradek uh, over a year ago that I believe I did not see an SRT update for at the time, so I had to do a UDP transmission as well for HEVC from that Teradek. Uh, but this does this is promising, I think, for encoders and media servers and media servers to talk to each other. I, as far as I've I've heard it talked about. It is not something that we would be using any day soon for client playback. It's not like I'm going to put some SRT URL in browser because, again, that's a long road, right? I mean, even if High Vision gives a lot of resources to it, I don't think they're going to convince all the app, uh, you know, all the browser vendors to just magically insert this by next year into their product.